all right what's up you guys this is Donna welcome back to my channel so I wanted to talk about money and now I know that all of you guys love the money talk and so we're gonna just get very briefly into it just so you can make the most informed decision for you in your life so if you're interested in money this video is for you What's up you guys, it's Sedona, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so we're gonna be talking about money, but specifically money in the PA profession. So I saw this statistic recently because I was looking at like, you know, am I getting paid what I need to be getting paid? Like if I were to go somewhere else, what would I get paid? Um, and I had to do some research and you're always gonna be doing research in life because that's gonna give you the most informed decision um, but I just kind of wanted to like briefly look at that with you guys and so here we're gonna have it I'm gonna put it up on my screen just so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about so I'm gonna put it up over here on the left hand side of my screen um, we are talking about the the average like wage of a physician assistant versus the average wage of a physician and so I wanted to look at this obviously it's 2022 because 2023 hasn't come out yet um, so the employment rate of like 140,000 is a little bit off because there's more um, actually like licensed uh, and employed PAs now. But look at the mean hourly wage, which is $60.23, and the mean annual wage, which is $125,000. $270. And then if you go down to the percentile, it shows you like what the top 90th, like people in the 90th percentile are, are making and those like in the lower percentile, like the lower earners. So the range is all the way from $40.30 an hour to $80.83 an hour. And so I was a little surprised, like myself, um, because I was like, man, you know, I swear like they make a, a lot more than that. But um, you know, 75, like percent, like in the 75th percentile is making about $140,000 a year, which honestly, I think that's closer to the median, like slash average, but that's neither here nor there. It all depends on what state you live in. Now, if we look at it in contrast to what physicians are actually making, let me show you this. Okay. So there are 305,260 like employed physicians. And this is just like general physicians across. Okay. If you go further down, it like breaks down like office physicians, federal colleges, universities, and it does the same with the PA profession. But just from a general standpoint, what we're looking at is like what they're making generally. Their hourly rate is $114.76. Now, if you remember, um, PAs were at that $60 mark, so almost double what PAs are making. That's what physicians are making. Their annual um, wage is $238,700. So again, kind of right on par with the, the doubling. Um, and then if you go down, it says like, it doesn't have it for like the top earners, which I don't know why, let me see what, so like the median is 223,000. Let me see what this five says down here. It says this wage is equal to or greater than $115 an hour or 239,000 dollars a year. Uh, I don't know what what they're talking about there because let me see go up back so are they saying because they have five for both areas but not that's neither here nor there I, at the end of the day I want you to see that it is double what physician assistants are making um, and so if you're in this profession just simply for the money like it may not be the profession for you like maybe you know sixty dollars plus an hour eighty dollars an hour is not what you think of when you're thinking of like i want to make some money right and so if that is the case like you may need to actually like find another profession maybe you need to be a physician you know um and i just really want you to think about that because money is not everything right and so it's all about like you know workability ease of like switching professions and careers i guess you could say or specialties um you know that work-life balance and all of these things have to be taken into consideration when you are looking at longevity for a career and a job and so those are like some tips i want you to like keep in mind when you're thinking like do i want to be a pa do i want to be an md like do i want to be an np what what area do i want to go into and what is that driving force because if it is money there are so many other jobs that you can do that will make you 
even more money than you're making as a physician or a physician assistant. Um, so you just kind of really need to make sure that you're making the right decision for you um, because the money, uh, as you can see, like some some of the lowest owner earners don't really make that much money, I guess you could say. All right. So just keeping that in mind, but you can go and find this information out for yourself at the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Um, and you can type in all of the various different jobs that you're interested in to um, the search bar and all of the statistics will come up. All right, if you have any other questions for me, you know what to do, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Adana PA and on Instagram at Get That University. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.